Each airport in the national airspace system has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Teterboro Airport is a medium-sized, towered airport servicing the business and general aviation communities. Its location in Teterboro, New Jersey, just across the Hudson River from New York City, makes it a good alternative for individuals and businesses traveling to the New York metro areas. Runways 624 and 119er intersect at the north end of the airport. This allows sufficient runway length to enable land and hold short, or lasso, operations. There is a complex taxiway system to support these operations and the numerous fixed base operators that surround the field. Number 39, Quebec, left turn on Lima, cross runway 24. Hotspot 1 is located at the intersection of taxiway Lima and runway 624. Adding to the challenge of this intersection is the addition of intersecting taxiway hotel. Pilots have become confused while taxiing on Lima and have inadvertently crossed or taxied onto runway 624. The runway crosses the taxiway at an oblique angle and the south side of the runway at this intersection is expanded to accommodate crossings at taxiway hotel. These characteristics may contribute to pilot confusion and lack of situational awareness at this location. Understanding taxi route clearances while knowing aircraft position will go a long way in eliminating this error. Incursions at Teterboro have also resulted from pilots departing without clearance after being issued line up and wait instructions from air traffic control. Pilots should not confuse a line up and wait instruction for a clearance to take off. Number 399, Quebec, Crossway 24 Golf, to make the uh, left on Quebec. And, uh, Hot spot 2 causes frequent issues for pilots. Aircraft taxiing to or from runway 119er via taxiway Golf have failed to recognize runway 624 and cross the runway. Pilots need to remember that without specific clearance, they are not cleared to cross any runway, whether active or not. The use of moving map displays in the cockpit can significantly help with this sort of issue. Increased situational awareness is required any time a pilot is operating an aircraft, and this is especially true when operating on complex surface areas and busy airport traffic patterns like those found at Teterboro. Ensuring that pilots understand and comply with specific instructions issued by air traffic control is another key to conducting safe and efficient operations. We hope this short video will assist you in your trip to Teterboro Airport. It is always better to know before you go.